Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. So I'm in the garden and I've got the roach pole set up 7 meters. so I'm testing the Viper antenna. And you get them off eBay and the guy does them hand built to order. We're going to try and get to uh, MB7FM which is about 30 miles away, the 4 meter power it repeats with Tring. We're going to try on high power which is 50 watts, we're going to try on medium power which is uh, 25 watts and we're going to do it on low power which is about 10 watts. So what I'll do, I'll run you through the setup and then we'll try and get access to a uh, MB7FM. So the setup we got is the Elenco 30 amp supply DM330 MW Mark 2 for those playing along at home. The 4 meter radio, I think that's the only time, 588. Currently sitting there on MB7FM on high power, connected to the cable. Which is connected in turn to this antenna. Now I'm not sure whether I'm supposed to have um, that plastic bit down the middle of the pole. I don't know. So maybe tell me in the comments. It goes all up to the top there. All I've done is just uh, you can see there. I've just used masking tape. Mask it down. This is a seven meter roach pole, and then that goes into. That ground spike. So we can see how much power the radio draws from the power supply by switching it, the switch here, into amps. At the moment it's on voltage, we stick it there into amps. So we're currently sitting on MB7FM and it should be in high power. So function and zero, power, medium, low, high. So I'm going to key up and we'll see if it comes back to us. 2E0 IQJ checking access for MB7FM in high power. 2E0 IQJ checking access to MB7FM high power. That's about 50 watts I've just run. 2E0 IQJ checking access for mb 7 Winner, you're in on high power. 2E0 IQJ checking access for MB7FM high power. That's about 30 miles away, so let's check it on medium power. Power MI for medium, and we'll test it. IQJ, M1DYP, yeah, last crowd there, Jeff. Okay, 2E0 IQJ returning. Yes, M1DYP, good afternoon, Ken. I'm um, on medium power, medium power, just checking access to uh, MB7FM. I'm doing a bit of a video for YouTube, testing a Viper antenna. Okay, 2E0 IQJ, checking access for MB7FM, high power. Yeah, I'm in, medium power. I'm on medium power, medium power, just checking access to the uh, MB7FM. I'm doing a bit of a video for YouTube, testing the Viper antenna. Yeah, we got it on medium power, no problems. So let's try it on a low power. So, function, power, low. Okay, 2E0 IQJ, checking access once again. To MB7 FM on low power, low power. Take an access. Yeah, well, I can't really hear you direct on medium. I think I heard you direct on high, but not on medium. Only on 25 watts here. But uh, through the power, um, good, good audio, no problem at all. So he said he couldn't hear me directly, but he could hear me on high power, no problems directly. He said they've got a good signal coming into the pa into the parrot, and I've got in on low power as well. So, here we go. Yeah, you're getting in on low power as well. Yeah, thanks, Ken. This is 2E0 IQJ, running about 10 watts this way. I got a Viper antenna off um, eBay, and I'm just testing it at the moment. So yeah, it's working a treat. Thanks, Ken. 2E0 IQJ. There we go, no problems on low power, and will we get a response back from Ken? Let's hang about for a sec. Okay, I'm going back to doing, I'm doing weather back at the moment from Northwood. Um, so I'll catch you later. M1DYP clear. Yeah, 73 is there, Ken, thank you. Have a good afternoon. Yeah, 73 is there, Ken, have a 
So there we go, we got in on high power, which is about 50 watts, medium power 25, and low power, which is at 10 watts. And when you don't want it, or put it, use the area, we just fold it up, and it collapses down and fits neatly into a bag. So it should be good for when I do four meters portable. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks to all my new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ73s.